Hey guys, what's up? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle, and today I have a pretty awesome recipe for you guys. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen my blueberry high protein pancakes. I've made a couple different variations, but today uh, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is actually make a high protein pancake that you don't need protein powder for. I know a lot of my viewers say, uh, my mom won't buy me protein powder, I don't have any, um, are there any alternatives? So here you go, uh, for those people, or if you just wanna try something new and don't wanna include protein powder in your breakfast, uh, this recipe is for you. So first off, what we're gonna start with is one cup of just regular plain rolled oats. And then add that into your blender or food processor. And then what we're gonna measure out is one cup of cottage cheese. I'm using fat-free cottage cheese. And if you don't really like cottage cheese, uh, you probably won't end up tasting it because uh, you know we're gonna add something else to uh, kind of give it a better taste. So one cup of that, and then add that into the food processor. And then finally, you're gonna add one cup of egg whites. And then you're just going to blend all that up. So now that we have that much blended up, we're going to add in a little bit of stevia or truvia, whatever you prefer. And that's going to give it that nice sweet flavor and probably around a tablespoon. And then you're probably going to add around a half a tablespoon of cinnamon. And if you wanted to make a chocolate variation of this, you could just add in cocoa powder um, and replace the cinnamon, or you could just leave them both. And now we're gonna mix that up one more time. So now that we have our batter here, um, I have this uh, pan heating on medium heat, and you're gonna take a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and spray that on there. And then it's pretty self-explanatory, just take the amount that you want and pour that out. And now you're just gonna put a lid on it and let it cook on one side and then we'll get ready to flip it on the other side. And basically from here on out, you're just gonna treat it like a normal pancake. So I will see you guys in a couple minutes when this one is ready to be flipped. All right, so this one is ready to flip and it smells really good. It smells like uh, cinnamon sugar flavor, uh, but we didn't add any sugar. Remember we added uh, stevia or truvia, whatever one. And you're just gonna flip this like a normal pancake and it might take a couple tries to get this right. But I did a pretty good job there. Um, I've had a lot of practice with these. So we're probably gonna let this side cook for a little bit less. Um, just keep an eye on it, like I said. And if you want it to be a little bit more moist in the center, um, obviously take it off a little bit early. But this should probably be, be done in about a minute. All right, so here's what the final version of the pancake looks like. And as you guys can see here, uh, there's a lot of batter left and we're probably gonna be able to make five or six more uh, pancakes with this size. So if you don't wanna eat it all, you could just put it on a plate and put it right into the refrigerator if you wanted. And the reason I'm showing you guys how to make this is I know some people uh, use this stuff called Bisquick. Uh, it's easy, you just put a little water in it and you shake it up and then you just pour it out there and make a pancake. But um, obviously this is not very healthy for you. It's got three grams of total fat, uh, one gram of saturated fat, and it even has a gram of trans fat. So uh, trans fat is the worst kind for you guys. It's in a lot of fried foods and stuff like that. So if you could just learn how to replace you know, your typical biscuit pancake with the protein pancakes that we made here, uh, chances are you're gonna feel like you're not uh, really on a diet because these are gonna taste really good but they're gonna be a lot more healthier than something like this. And normally you don't really think of pancakes being something that you can eat while you're on a diet. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Try it out, let me know what you think. And uh, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up rating because that helps me out a lot. And also stop by my Facebook and Twitter pages down below. And I really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching, have a good day, bye.